Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to learn the Indian number system and the international number system. Now first let us begin with the Indian number system. Now first we are going to write the places of the numbers. Okay, now in Indian number system, how we are going to write the places? They are going to begin with ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, 10,000, lakh, 10 lakh, crore and 10 crore. Okay, in Indian number system, this is the way we are going to write the places of numbers. Okay, now to understand this, let us take one example. Okay, let's write a random number over here. Now here I have written a random number to understand this number system. Now see, to read this number, first we are going to give the commas in the number. Okay, so first comma we are going to give after the hundreds place. Okay, in the num Indian number system, first comma we are going to give after the hundreds place. How? Ones, tens and hundreds. So here I am going to give the first comma. Okay, so this whole thing is one group. Then after thousands and ten thousands place, that is after two places, I'm going to give a next comma. And again after two places, that is lakh and ten lakh. Here I'm going to give another comma. Okay. So now this whole set or this whole group becomes the ones group. Okay. Now the second group between these two commas. This becomes the thousands group. Thousands group. Then this whole set between these two commas becomes the lakhs group. And this becomes the crores group. Okay. So this becomes the ones group, thousands group, lakhs group and the crores group. Okay. First comma we are going to give after the hundreds place okay after three digits thereafter after every two digits we are going to give the comma okay so now how we are going to read this number see the numbers which are present in one group they are read together okay the numbers which are present in one group or one set they are read together so how we are going to read this number we are going to read it as 42 crores 85 lakhs 69,432. Okay. The numbers which are present in one group, they are read together. Understand this. Okay. So, this is read as 42 crore, 85 lakh, 69,432. Now, let's understand this number system with one more example. Here I have taken a number. Now, first we are going to give the commas. Now, if you want, you can also write the places of this number so that there is no confusion. Okay. Let's write them. Ones place, tens place, hundreds place, thousands place, ten thousands place, lakhs, ten lakh, crore and ten crore. Okay. If you have any confusion, first you can write these places. Okay. How we are going to give the commas? We are going to start from the ones place. First, first comma will come after the hundreds place. So, here I will get the first comma. After, thereafter, after every two digits, we are going to give a comma. So, thousands, ten thousands. Here I will give one comma. Lakhs, ten lakhs. Here I will give one comma. Okay. Now, how we are going to read this number? See, these both are coming under the crores group. So, 68 crore, 49 lakh, 32,765. Okay, let's read it again. 68 crore, 49 lakh, 32,765. Okay, like this we are going to write this number. I hope the Indian number system is clear to you. Now we'll move on to the international number system. Now let us understand the international number system. Now here again first we are going to write the 
places of numbers. Okay. So let's start. Here we are going to write first the ones place. Then comes the tens place. Hundreds. Thousands. Ten thousand. After ten thousand. Here we get hundred thousand. Okay. Then we get million. Then ten million. And then hundred million. Okay. So how the how are the places arranged in the international number system? Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, million, ten million, and hundred million. Okay. Now let's use the same number as we have used before. Now here I have taken an example. Now let's give the commas in the number first. Okay. First comma we are going to get after the hundreds place. So. After the hundreds place, we are going to get the first comma. Okay. Now, in the international number system, all the commas will be after a gap of three numbers. Okay. Remember, all the commas will be coming in a gap of three numbers. Okay. Whereas in Indian number system, what we have seen after the first comma, we are going to give a gapping of two numbers for the commas. Whereas in international number system, we are going to give a comma after every three digits okay so here after the hundreds place i have given one comma then thousands ten thousands and hundreds hundred thousands here i'm going to give the next comma okay now let's do the grouping see this whole thing comes under one group which group is this ones group okay this whole thing is the ones group then thousands, ten thousands and hundred thousands. All these come under one group. This is the thousands group. This is the thousands group. Okay. Because see thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand. All these are coming under one group. Now next million, ten million and hundred million. All these three fall under one group. Which group is this? Millions group. Millions group. So now how we are going to read this number? Now the numbers under one group will be read together. The numbers that are present in one group will be read together. So let's see this. 428,569,432. Okay. Let me repeat once again. See the numbers which are present in one group will be read together. So, under the millions group will be read together, thousands group will be read together and ones group will be read together. So, how we will read it? 428,569,432. Okay? Now, let's understand this with one more example. Now, to make you understand, I have used the same number that I have used in the Indian number system. Okay? Now, first let's write the places. So, ones, tens, hundreds, thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand, million, ten million, hundred million. Okay? So, I have written the places. Now, let's give the commas. Ones, tens, hundreds. After the hundreds, we are going to give the first comma and the rest of the commas also will come after three, three digit each. So, after 1000, 10,000 and 100,000, we'll give another comma and then million, 10 million, 100 million. So, let's do the grouping. This comes under the millions group. This comes under the thousands group and this comes under the ones group. Okay. So, how this will be read? 684 million, 932,765. Okay, 684 million 932,765. Okay, I hope both the Indian number system and the international number system are clear to you. In the Indian number system, after the first three digits, we are going to have a comma and thereafter, after every two digits, we are going to give a comma. Okay, whereas in the international number system, after every three digits, we are going to give a comma. Okay? 
and here the groups are ones group, thousands groups, lakhs group and crores group in the Indian number system. Whereas in the international number system, we are having ones group, thousands group, millions group. Okay. I hope the Indian number system and the international number system are clear to you. If you have any doubts, please write them in the comment section. If the comment section of any video is off, you can go into any of my recent posts and write your comments or your doubts over there. Okay. Thank you everyone. If you enjoyed this video, do give it a like, share this video and subscribe to our channel. Bye.